Hello everybody, this is No Dust here and welcome back to Party at Anduins. So if you remember last time we were, um, we just made a couple of changes to our deck, put in a big game hunter, put in a uh, shadow word death and we are going to head back onto the ladder and see what we can do at rank 10 with our patron priest. Okay. <clears throat> So yeah, I'd, like, I'd really like to, to hear what you guys think about um, me trying to revive Patron Priest in this way. Trying to keep it in... <coughs> see if it's viable. See if it can do some work in this metagame. And, uh, you know, bring about some fun games. And really, it's all about having fun. Okay. So, cool, yeah. I'm just going to keep cool. <coughs> and, you know, everyone's been talking a lot about the... Uh, the Warsong Commander nerf. But you know, I'd still like to hear what you guys think, um, what your opinions are on, on how Blizz nerfed it. I know there's a, the consensus is they killed the card, it's basically unplayable. And you know, I, I generally, I tend to agree. I think that they, there's, there probably was a lot of, there probably was, were many things that they could have done to um, make the card still playable and interesting as opposed to unplayable and uninteresting uh one idea that i had was um say you give it the text battle cry give a random minion charge um or maybe even give a random minion with less than with three attack or less charge so that it doesn't give every minion with three or three attack or less charge it 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 still has that sort of flavor and it still possibly allows for OP combos, but you know, I'm not a I'm not a Blizzard developer. I, I haven't done any testing. You know, it's very easy to sit back and say, oh, you know, they killed the card. But I think ultimately, um, Is someone injured? Blizzard has its reasons, and and we can speculate speculate about those reasons. Honestly, watching the uh, recent uh, Hearthstone tournaments. I really do think some of the reasons come come to come down to um, tournament diversity. You know, every every single every single uh, every single deck in, con in that they were playing in conquest mode either was okay against patron or specifically countered patron. You know, things such as handlock, which is what we're facing here. So we may have a little bit of trouble. I am tempted to. Bomber. And circle of healing and two cards. Now if I So this is a four eight I think. If I hit it and then No, I will circle of healing first and then hit it. To ensure that um, it can't trade tidily with my matter bomber. Although he can just go into my cleric. Hmm. Yeah. It was always going to be a little bit awkward, wasn't it? Well, but we have our Orc and our Hero Power next turn to deal 2 damage to the Drake if we need to. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, interesting play. Interesting play. And I will do... Ooh. Should I bomb our Orc and I? Bomb our Orc and I. Sets up a lot of damage. Okay, let's do it. I don't get to squeeze the hero power in, oh, Mr. Bomber. I don't get to squeeze the hero power in this turn, but it sets up more immediate damage. And I find against Handlock having uh, immediate damage, like a board that can deal upwards of 10 to 15 damage, is really important. Um, especially since I have two big swing cards in my hand. But we, I don't. I'm not. I can't be 100% sure that. Okay, I am 100% sure that this is Handlock. Looks like it's looks like he's setting up for a taunt play. Looks like he's setting up for a taunt play. So I will clear our watcher. And how low do I want his health? Next turn he'll be at seven mana. If he taps, he'll be at four. Five, and to get so then he'll at five you can pay for a three mana molten and a sun fury at five 
so I don't so 15 is sort of the minimum I don't think I want to go any lower than that. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's pretty it, it it's pretty tough to think about you know handlock health totals, but um, unfortunately it's it's one of the things you got to do. You know the molten giant swings into okay. Looks like there's going to be a taunt coming up. Uh, the molten giant swings. Okay, let's see if we can pull out a Malgaris. Yeah, let's do it. Let's see if we can pull out a Malgaris. Okay. So next turn he is at eight. If he taps, he goes to six mana. And six mana, you can play a four mana molten and another Sun Fury. But he, since he already played a Sun Fury, I am going to bet. I'm going to try and wager that he can't. He doesn't have it. So that either he just plays the Molten and not tap, doesn't tap, or he plays the Molten with a Shadow Flame, which is a little, you know, a little unfortunate. But yeah, um, you know, Handlock was good against Patron Warrior. Handlock is probably going to be good against this deck. So I think it's... I'm going to take the risk and be aggressive this turn and um, try and push him. And hopefully, you know, set up... Yeah, it looks like he's looks like he's searching. Looks like he's searching. That's a good sign for us, but that's not a good sign for us. Okay, that's not good. Ooh, wow! I didn't. Okay, how much how much damage are we looking at? <coughs> We've got nine on the board, plus three and two, plus another five. Nine plus five is fourteen, plus another two, which is sixteen. I'm just off. I am just off. That really sucks. Is there any way I can um, I can cheat the Light Warden to do some more damage? No, I can't. I think I'm just going to have to go for it. I think I'm just going to have to go for it. I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave him at 6. Hope and hope he doesn't have some, you know, shadow flame something like that or taunt. Otherwise I'm done for. Looks like we're okay because uh, we might still be okay. We might still be okay. Uh, so I can heal send him in. There's probably a Malganus coming. That is probably a map. That really sucks. Now with a circle, I might I can clear the whole board with circle, but I'll lose my orc and I. Clear the whole board with circle. Oh, what am I doing? I'm so stupid. I doing? I didn't even see that. I was thinking uh, it, it's one of the things I do in this game. You are, you know, you can get so caught up in your board position that you forget that you can heal face for two damage. Anyway, that was good. <coughs> so yes, we're hopping into the next game. Yeah, that last game was. Um, I feel a little bit stupid actually. Um, thinking so heavily about you know organized circle plays when. Yeah, it's it's. I I don't. I have to admit, I don't often play priest. Priest is not a favorite. Is not a favorite deck of mine. Although I I do enjoy it because, um, I enjoy the the finesse that comes with playing priest. You know, do you heal? Do you heal a minion? Do you heal yourself? Um, um whether you should play fast, whether you should play slow, things like that. <clears throat> so it's not a bad. It's not a bad class. I, I do like it. Um. Okay. All right. What are we doing now? I think our answer has just appeared. And for an unstable ghoul, an unstable ghoul is so strong. He pull if he pulls out a if he pulls out a huffer, well, huffer's dead. If he pulls out anything else, that's okay. It's not that fast, you know. We'll survive. 
it's it's ridiculously strong against Unleash. It's it's pretty damn strong against most things that the hunter is doing. And I'm assuming this is an aggressive hunter of some sort. Okay, I think I will just develop the BGH. The I don't think he's gonna have anything in his deck that I can BGH. So, um, you know, it's it may be. <coughs> Pardon me. Maybe he'll have a boom. And, and that's the extent of things. You'll have a boom and I'll be GX to boom. But if it gets to turn seven and I'm not winning clearly, I probably I'm probably not gonna win. Okay. Come on, bomber. This will work. Oh yeah. Feels so good. And the bombs are thrown in your direction. Okay. Now let's improve. Okay. And we have we're in a really, really, really strong position. Uh, we slowed down the hunter. We we took away um, both of his uh, eagle horn charges. Bomber got a ton of value. Ooh ooh ooh! Oh man, that sucks. But that's okay because that's four damage that didn't go to my face. And given that this deck is all about going face, forcing him to do something such as not go face is basically a win. Um, the level of quality in, in this sort of hunter deck. I don't expect it to, to be able to out outlast Priest, really any form of Priest. And um, if it's an aggressive Hunter, they're probably playing Explosive. So if he puts up a trap, um, I'm just gonna, yeah, it, hopefully, you know, if he puts up an Explosive, I can play my my friends, the Patron, into it, and we're gonna have a party at Rexars. Okay, let's see. Let's see what the Shredder sends our way. Aww. It's a little sad, anyway. So again, we're in a really dominant position. I think cards like Orc and I are so key in, in the um, Priest matchup. Um, you know, just the regular Priest with Orc and I can do a ton of work against aggressive decks. But now that this deck has all this a all this random AoE damage thrown in that I'm ex I don't think many people expect on the ladder. Um, it should do better than average against aggressive decks. Get in there and, fight, and we saw that it did half decently against um, Handlock as well. But I think we were, we were pretty lucky in that previous Handlock game where he had to tap multiple times and couldn't find couldn't find anything to help him out. Oh dear, okay. So what I will do... Is, I could have gone for a could have gone for a patron play, but no, no, I don't think it's necessary. I will acolyte Naru. Cards. And given that he's just used a, a hounds, I don't expect there to be another hounds on the way. And finally, we may get to um, unleash some. Unleash some patron shenanigans with our Grim Patron through Grim Patron Shadow Word Death Combo. <laughs> but I think he might he might be killing our, our our pyro. It's hard to say though, because they're quite a yay. Okay, he took out the pyro, so it's not gonna happen this time. But that is okay. I can still death. I'm still going to death. So death is three. I have five minor remaining. I don't think I will patron. I will death. I'll just give this face. Feel my pain. the light. Yeah, I think um, decks like Face Hunter really have trouble against early game taunts. Um, and and I think a piece of advice that I would give to anyone who's who's having issues with um, early game aggressive decks is put a couple of unstable ghouls in your deck. And they do wonders. They do wonders against little pesky minions that run into your face. And it seems like our hunter friend is at a, at a slight loss for things to do. What? What? Okay. Okay. I think I'm just being trolled, but you know, that's fine. Okay. Ooh, one minor off pulling off that combo. That is okay. 
I will buff Acolyte. I think I have enough damage. To f I had enough damage to finish earlier. Sorry, I was having too much fun with this patron deck. Even though we actually haven't gotten to play any patrons. I apologies about that. But um, I think these couple of games can really highlight how, how powerful the bombers are. And, and the bombers are really some of my favourite cards in Hearthstone. They're, you know, they're not the best value. I think the two drop bomber is great. But the, um, the five drop bomber is really something you actually have to consciously put in your deck. Alright, so let's finish it up there. I think I'll do some more... Um, do some more laddering in the future with uh, Party at Anduins. So hope you guys enjoyed the video and um, you know, please send me your suggestions if you decide to try the deck or if you have uh, modifications or you know, um, some, some concepts of your own that will bring back Patron Warrior. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a nice day and I will see you next time.